my hair was pretty much everywhere. It was in his car, it was on his shirt, like it was pretty much everywhere. Hey curl friends and welcome back. So in today's video, we are reviewing the Model Model Freedom Wig number 201 from sisterwigs.com. So hopefully by this point, you guys have already checked out my Oz try-on, my actual little mini try-on just to show you guys the wig and now you're tuning into the review. So before we get started, I'm gonna give a big shout out to sisterwigs.com for sending this over for my honest opinion and review for you guys. I'm not being Hey, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. They just kindly sent this wig over for an honest review. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the specs for this wig. This wig comes from Model Model. This is their Freedom Lace number 201 wig. I got mine in an OT30, which is pretty much a dark root and then color number 30 towards the ends. This wig is available in nine different colors, pretty much your standard colors, your browns, your blondes, your black, pretty much a normal wig collection, no exotic colors. This hair can take heat up to 400 degrees, but I personally have only used up to 320 degrees on this hair and it flat irons like a pro. As far as security, there are three combs in this wig. You have two in the front, one in the nape, as well as the two bra straps in the back. Pretty standard wig construction. You have this nice natural looking parting. It's a pretty much about a half an inch or so wide. It goes pretty far back, not too too far, but like right in the crown of your head. And this parting is a lot different from what I'm used to seeing. So as far as this particular unit, the parting pretty much thins out as far as the part. With most wigs, they usually like balled out that entire spot and it's just pretty much no hair there whatsoever. This wig has sprouts of hair, giving it more of a natural feel and look to it. And now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, as far as my styling, this was pretty much a get out the box and go kind of wig. But once again, they are making these wigs super, super easy to review and share with you guys. I literally just cut off the lace live with you guys on YouTube and pretty much popped it on. It was pretty much a to go kind of wig. So. They give you a nice amount of lace for your um, natural parting. I personally feel a need to pluck or do anything extra to it. It was pretty much natural looking to me. This wig is also marketed as a free rotating unit. So pretty much you can create various different styles just by rotating the unit, which I normally would do anyway. But I'll go ahead and show you guys some examples. So on the box itself, it comes as a middle part, which you guys can see here. You can take your entire unit and shift it I'm going to shift it as a right side part. And that's kind of what that looks like. And the cut on this wig allows it to pretty much move anywhere and look super, super normal and natural. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into my actual review, my pros and my cons. So starting off with the pros, the first thing I noticed when I got this wig out, y'all, straight out of the box, I said this color job was amazing. This looks like a professional color. The color bleeds naturally from the color number two into the 30 really, really nicely. It just pretty much melts into that next color. This color job is literally perfection. It does not look like synthetic hair as far as the color. The texture is really, really soft. The hair is really, really thin. Um, this is more so like a bone straight kind of look. It's not super, super thick at all. This feels like, you know, fresh relaxer, like fresh, fresh relaxer. Really, really thin, nice and flowy and really, really silky, silky soft. And then as far as the cut, the back is super, super long. It has like a diagonal kind of cut. Um, you'll find all the, the shorter layers towards the front and then it gets longer towards the back. So as you guys can see here, they're like face framing layers. Really, really short in the front, longer in the back. And as you guys can see here, my boobs are here. It's pretty much right below my boobs, about my belly button, my waistline. So uh, jumping into my cons, I'm coming to you guys today after wearing this wig for quite some time. I've been wearing it for about a week and a half or so. And the first thing that I noticed that this hair sheds a lot. I just from brushing the hair alone, the hair is shedding. As far as tangling and things like that, I've seen a comment below um, on the live try on about how model model wigs are really, really low quality. And and that they fall apart really easily, they tangle pretty easily. This is my first time having a model model unit tangle really, really bad and shed on me a lot. I usually don't have an issue with their wigs, but I guess.
guess I'm going into it with the perspective of it's a synthetic wig. I don't expect it to last pretty long and I expect it to tangle. But this one definitely shed a lot. The tangling came from the humidity. It's really, really hot here in Georgia, well over 100 degrees. And <laughs> on the hottest days when I do wear it out, the ends get super, super frizzy and puffy. And I'm sure it's from either the humidity or my sweat alone because this hair is super long and it's on my back. So I did find a really, really quick trick for that. I just hit it with a flat iron when I got home and it looks pretty much normal and it's not as tangly. So it doesn't do too, too well in the heat. It will frizz up on you and get kind of matted. <laughs> but other than that, the shedding is ridiculous. <laughs> I was pretty much, I had my boyfriend over for a little bit and my hair was pretty much everywhere. It was in his car, it was on his shirt. Like it's pretty much everywhere. Like you don't even have to move too much and you're gonna find a strand of this hair every single where you go. So I'm not really a fan of the shedding, but other than that, I feel like it's a beautiful wig. I really wish it didn't shed so much and I really wish that it could take, you know, the drastic weather a little bit better because I do love this hair. I love the color, especially for the summer, but this is not one of my go-to wigs for the summer. I would be afraid that it would like poof and mat up on me too, too much. So if you do decide to go for this wig, this is a bomb wig. I think it's beautiful. I love the color, like I said. I love the feel of it. It's just gonna require a lot of maintenance. It is a really, really cheap wig. It's only $24.99 on systemwigs.com, so kind of comes with the territory. But if you do purchase this wig, I have a few tips for you. Go ahead and grab a brush to keep handy at all times in your purse, in your car, everywhere, because you're going to need to brush and detangle this hair, or else you will end up with a matted mess. And if you do end up with a matted mess or like tangles or shedding, just go back home, get you a flat iron, no product, no nothing, and just, you know, go through really, really quickly with the flat iron on about 320, and you'll end up with a result like this, which is pretty much what it looked like straight out of the box. So I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me for my live interactive try-on. Be sure to tune in for the rest of them. I will be going live a lot more often to get you guys' opinions and figure out exactly what we should do with the wigs together versus me by myself. So if you are interested in purchasing this wig today, it is available on sisterfigs.com for $24.99. Like I said, in nine different colors this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.